Hi everyone, my name is Melina. Welcome to my channel if you're new here and welcome back if you're not. Thanks so much for clicking onto today's video. I don't know about you, but I have an extremely go, 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 go sort of personality. I'd say I'm busy about 95% of the time. I'm a full-time high school student. I'm a sophomore. I take a little bit of dual enrollment and a little bit of AP classes. I'm a competitive dancer. I dance at least four days each and every week and I'm at my studio almost every day after school. I do a bit with my student council. I'm class president. I'm part of the board. I'm also a member of my school's National Honor Society. I'm involved with the youth group at my church. I'm employed, I have a job, I try to make YouTube videos every once in a while, and I do see friends sometimes in the in-between. You might disagree with me, but I'd say I'm pretty busy. <laughs> By no means am I gonna sit in front of you and say, yes, I'm just perfect and don't my schedule. I always have everything sorted out because that is a lie. There are definitely days, months, weeks that I'm better at balancing my schedule than others, and that's part of being human and being busy. But I have learned and picked up different tips, tricks, strategies to try to manage my time better and try to be productive. And these are skill sets that I'm still continuing to work on. I wrote down a few things, and the first thing I wrote down I think is the most important, which is to not be super hard on yourself. I hold myself to extremely high standards, and I can be very harsh on myself at times when I'm not really harsh on other people. So there'll be times where I don't feel super productive, where I don't think I've managed my time the greatest, and I will get extremely hard on myself about it. I think holding yourself accountable and being harsh to yourself are two very different things. So I've tried to rework my thinking and rework my mindset and trying to be kind and encouraging towards myself. It has definitely taken a little bit of extra effort to give myself a bit more grace. The second thing also kind of I guess goes with this which is taking care of yourself. And this is huge. This is huge. I've had people ask like you are so busy like I don't know how you're constantly doing things. To that I guess I answered that I want to. I like things I'm involved in. Some of them are more necessary than others. Obviously school is one I need to go to, but I have my priority. For me, if I want to do something, I will make time for it, which also I think can apply to self-care. Um, people who are busy need time to take care of themselves, just as anyone else does. For me, dance is an outlet, and although it's something I need to show up for, I do enjoy it student council is an extracurricular that I'm kind of obligated to go to and show up to especially with an e-board position or a class president position but it's also something you enjoy. I enjoy taking leadership roles. I got interrupted because I kind of have to leave in like five minutes because I'm going to church speak of being busy. Journaling is an outlet for me. I can kind of reflect on my day. If I really need to vent and need to get negative things out of my system, journaling is a big part of it. And reading. I read for enjoyment to kind of escape from like everyday life and it's also very common. So I think finding things that you can incorporate into your day that are common and good for you and self-care, for me, that helps prevent burnout, which kind of leads into the next thing, which is do things during the in-betweens. That can be self-care. For me, sometimes at school, the in-betweens, I'm doing things. Like if my teacher gives me time to work in the class, I've already finished the assignment, I could go on and work on something that's due later in the week. I could read for five minutes if I really just need that like, brain break. You don't have to be going all of the time, but sometimes working things into the in-betweens can really help. Plan. Plan, 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 plan. Google Calendar, planners, bullet journaling, Notion, whatever you use, physical or digital, plan. Pull up my Google Calendar. It is insane. Yeah, I color code things. I put everything in here. I put reminders. Um, I also have my bullet journal, which is so cute. Look at it. It's like green. It's also made from recycled materials. This is like my this week kind of to-do list. In here, there's obviously things crossed off, things written out. I'm always writing stuff down. I'm always putting things in my phone. Start relying on discipline and not solely motivation. Feeling motivated is great, but motivation is temporary. I don't really know anyone who feels motivated 100% of the time, unless you're somehow a robot, which that's really cool, great for you, but the rest of the human population has to work through the times that they don't always feel motivated. And it's hard because there's been months where I don't feel really motivated to do much of anything, but I just can't stop for a few months. Like that, it's just, it's not an option. Um, so working on discipline is something that has really helped me. And one of the things that I've had to pull out is to think about the after, which I, I, I know that does not make sense, but I promise it does in my brain. Uh, let's say I have something to do for AP US history in a week, and I'm sitting in my bed, Sometimes I have to think about the after. I'll be like, I will be so thankful when I have this turned in and I don't have to worry about it the night before, or I won't have a zero in the grade book, or I won't have to talk to my teacher about turning in a late assignment. Like, 
I will be thankful when I get it done. This video is all over the place. I will see you guys later. Thank you so much. Comment down below what are your motivation time management tips down below subscribe if you want to if you want to see this face every sunday i try every sunday i appreciate you guys so much and i'll see you in my next video bye